Hello, viewer, and welcome to Games with Dialogue. I'm playing Banners of Ruin, a game that came out of Early Access last week, actually, the 29th of July. I got this when it was still in Early Access, but because of my personal philosophy and experience around Early Access games, I decided to hold off on reviewing it until the official release, which happens to be now. All right, let's start a run. So we're going to do... I want to do bear, and I want to do wolf. Sure. Begin campaign. Now seems like a good time to take a short rest. Modify your deck. I don't want to do that. Eight max vitality. 250 florins wouldn't be... Wouldn't be a bad thing. I'd be able to buy some weapons and armor without having to scramble for money. And I could also pass off some bribes if need be. Yeah, let's do that. A little gift. Raucous laughter echoes down the dark, damp tunnel. The Enders won't suspect a thing. You emerge from the black and find yourself in one of the guard bunks. Where the devil did you come from? You can't be here. Oh, we got spotted. It was gonna happen, though. All right. Deal six damage if active character is in the front rank, plus four damage. Well, what does the wolf do? This character may play another character's wielded card. What about the bear? Remove all stacks of bad status effects and gain three armor per stack. Okay. If your active character is on the front rank, this might... No. What else? What else can we do? What else can we do? Five damage. Gain five shield. Gain five shield. Gain 15. Character gains pacified. Yeah, I'm gonna hit the... Sure. I guess I could do this also. That would kill him. Yeah, let's do that. Alright. And then gain five shield. And you're gonna attack the wolf. So... I think he'll be fine. Eight with eleven shield. Yeah, he'll be fine. Let's, um... Let's gain some extra... Armor, and then end turn. I don't want that pacified. Alright, what did you gain? What was that? On turn start, if this target has three or more allies... Aha, well, he doesn't, so... Discard a card, gain three charge. Let's... Yeah, let's use this to get rid of... This one. Okay. So, let's hit the hair. There we go. We got some extra charge, so we can do this. Perfect. And the wolf will gain some more armor. And we're done. Ugh, that bleed. Well, I can't do anything about the bleed. Let's... Select the target. If the position behind them is vacant, move them into it. Well, that's... We just want to kill him. There we go. Gain a card. Discard a card. Gain three. Well, I only really need one momentum until I have more cards in my deck. Sweep kick. Select a target. Move them to a vacant position on their rank. We really don't need that yet, because we don't have position-specific cards. So let's take the mark. And a city. Okay. Oh! Well. Okay, then. Uh, these numbers at the top are how close you are to the end. 
So if you prioritize running down one corridor, that one will count down faster. But you'll get there, you'll get to the end eventually. You can see our little progress bar at the top here. Um, let's go with this one. All right, this might be a little more difficult. We might need to prioritize safety. Yeah, they're all going to attack the wolf. So, let's prioritize safety. Uh, let's pick this. And then go to the bear, I suppose. Let's hit the one in the middle. And then hit him with strike. There we go. And we're done. They are going to attack the bear for six damage. Discard a guard. I want to do this one. Discard a card to gain three charge. I think I'll do that. Which card am I going to... Probably this one. Right. The wolf has the great sword. Ah, oh, yeah. Alright. That was a mistake. I was still thinking tutorial bear. One damage. One health bar left. Alright. And the bear. The bear should be fine. The bear should be fine. I'm not worried about him. Yeah. Alright. Here we go. Six damage of active characters front rank, plus four damage. And we'll give the wolf a chance to do this. There we go. Beautiful. Carnage. Ruin a card in hand. Deal eight damage and three bleed. Every time you play this card, damage is increased by eight. And bleed is increased by three. But only during this combat. Ruin. Changes a card into a ruin card. Ruining a card during the campaign is permanent. So it's like Banish, but uh, even longer. Draw one card and gain one Vigor. Upper Hand. Deal six damage. Apply Upper Hand. When this card deals a total of 30 damage to an opponent, they gain one max stamina this combat. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to 30 damage anytime soon, so let's do Second Wind. Okay. Off-duty guards has a counter on it. Will automatically trigger after you make one more choice. So I have a I can choose to either fight drunken guards now or later. Quick round, heal party, doggedness. Gain Gain doggedness. Start your next combat with 15 shields. I'm gonna take that because we're gonna be winding up fighting. Actually, I could wind up with something even better next turn. Yeah, let's take the Drunken Guards out now. Okay. So I don't have to fight the Heavy Patrol. I could hide. Or I could take a back alley. Select a lane, remove the next two cards. I'll take this one. Yeah, well... All right. It was going to happen eventually. You can't avoid... I mean, you have to get into fights to get stronger, right? So. And basically all I was doing was avoiding fighting. I wasn't picking up equipment. I wasn't buying things. I guess I could have taken doggedness, but then I would have had to fight the drunken guards. So. Let's see here. 
Apply five shield to a party member. Move, swap them. I don't really need that. Hatchet. That's the bear. We'll take this one. Okay. Six damage plus four damage. That would leave him with four hit points and then I could kill him. Yeah, all right. That'll be one less person hitting me. Well, I don't want to do that. Yeah, all right, I'll do it. And then... There we go. I'll hold off on that one. Yeah. It would have been three damage, which would have gotten rid of the shield, but that was all it would have done. So. I'll apply eight damage and some bleed. Who are you attacking? The bear? Oh, shoot. I should have saved a shield because I can't do anything with the wolf. Yeah. Oof. Take cover. Apply five shield to an ally. You know what? I'm probably going to have to use that. Oh, except it's a shield card and only the bear. All right. Well, thankfully, he's not going to do a whole lot of damage to the bear. Those shields will take most of it, but he will inflict bleeding. All right. Let's just strike. All right. Good. Remove all stacks of winded. For every stack removed, gain health. Toe to toe. Gain toe to toe. Whenever this character attacks an opponent on the same lane, gain six shields and then banish. Deal four damage to opponent party for wildfire. I don't have enough stamina to risk that. I'm going to take this one. It, it costs me will, but it also gives me a way to recover hit points. Okay. Wolf. What do we got for you? This character loses half of their vitality. Apply the amount lost as health to another ally. Woof. Oathkeeper. Deal six damage and apply two vulnerable. Every time this card is played, damage increases by two permanently. Bulwark. Discard one card. If allied character has no shields, apply shields equal to weapon damage and charge. I'm going to take Oath Bite Keeper. Man, that's... And I'm going to take more stamina. That's not bad. Uh, let's see here. What do we got for you? Pulverize. Deal weapon damage plus five. If this breaks the target's defense, deal weapon damage again. But you gain two winded. Cornered. Deal weapon damage times the times for each stack of winded this character has and then banish. Nah, well... Bulls charge. Deal weapon damage. If target has moved this combat, gain six bleed and three vulnerable. I'm going to take pulverize. It gives me some winded, but I have ways around that now. Okay. Weapon cache. I could get some weapons and armor. Knife merchant. I can buy some cards. Wishing well. Gain a random upgrade token. I want the upgrade token. Wishing well. A humble stone well reveals itself to you in the center of the street. Frail old beggar kneels beside it. You approach the well to find the beggar muttering a low, quiet prayer. Most folk don't know what this is, the beggar whispers, without lifting his bowed head. I see the crow's foot on your cloaks. Speak his name and he shall reward you. You see an old token lodged inside the well within arm's reach. Gain lucky charm which is just 10 florins. Kneel beside the beggar and pray. Remove a card from your deck. Gain a random upgrade token. I 
don't want to remove any cards from my deck at the moment. But I will eventually. Maybe one of these strikes. We're going to be getting more and more damage output. This one also, not great unless I have charge. Uh, it pairs well with momentum, but otherwise. I think I'll get rid of Rush. Yeah. Drag a token onto a card to upgrade it. I guess I could do solid footing. This is like a Hail Mary anyways. Uh, with the plus one stamina, it would be one person's whole turn. But I would be able to draw three cards for the next guy to do something. I don't know. That's a little risky. Because I could draw three cards that I just don't have the stamina to use. I would rather have... Two people on my team able to use some cards rather than one guy get three extra cards he can't do anything with. I could, I guess I could increase this one. Apply four mark to an enemy and grab three cards to do... Yeah, alright, alright, I like that. Discard a random combat. Another pair of Blackfoots moves onwards through the street. You recognize them from the Black Church. They'll deal with any trouble you'd rather not. A throng of people gather in front of the market stalls. They're, oh, it's just another way of saying a wall. Okay. The way looks clear, or does it? Enter elite combat. Well, you know what? Blackfoot agents, I kind of need your help. Let's, uh, help me out here. The weasel babbles at passerby, splattering them with spittle from his foaming mouth. He's clearly alarmed, but struggling to make sense. Uh, sure, he's not a fight. The weasel babbles at you with a manic grin on his face before splattering into a fit of coughs. Want to change a piece of yourself? Wheezy can help. Transform a skill. Well, why not? What do we want to transform? One of these guards, maybe? A kick? Or another strike? Maybe one of the guards. Remove all your shields. Deal damage equal to the amount lost. Well, it's four stamina, so I can't use it yet. Deal ten damage if target dies. Gain two stamina. That one I would definitely want. Deal six damage. Apply to vulnerable. Draw a card. I'm going to take the ten damage. It'll keep me in the fight longer. Overzealous guards. Investigate. Crossroads. The streets branch in front of you. It will be difficult to come back through the bustling crowd. So, clear street to this depth means these two cards drop to nine. That wouldn't be a terrible thing to pick. Investigate. Yeah, let's do the bear. You hear two town guardsmen hur hurling verbal abuse at a local black bear. She's probably a spy, they jeer. You can see her becoming visibly distressed when they begin to wave their weapons at her threateningly. Sure, I would too. And here we go. A little gold might get them moving on. Yeah. Well, guys, take this and leave. Listen. Oh. The guards change their tune immediately as a purse is dropped into one hand. Never see you around here again, got it? They signal to you as they depart. The bear thanks you, but informs you she has nothing to spare as gratitude. The guard's already taken everything. That's fine. That's not what I... That's not why I did that, lady. But it does mean I didn't get anything from that, so... Whatever. Modify your deck. Crossroads. Oh, uh, well, let's take the modify. Unless I can upgrade a card, then it's pointless. Perhaps an opportunity to learn something new. Never stop learning. Duplicate a card in your deck. I mean, that's not bad. I could duplicate Deadly Thrill. I could also duplicate... Deal weapon damage, apply bleed. Uh, momentum. Draw one card and gain vigor. I could duplicate trauma. I think... Deal 6 damage if actor character is in front rank. It's just straight damage. We want something that does something else. 
Except for maybe Sharpened Steel. I'm going to take Second Wind, because that's really useful. That draw plus regain stamina. Okay, well, Crossroads. It doesn't matter now, because they were all at 9. And another fight. Fantastic. Middle it is. It's just... I don't know, it's habit for me to pick the middle when it comes to combat, because it doesn't matter. 24 hit points. Oh, boy. Uh, who are you attacking? Both of us. The whole row. The whole row. And the wolf. Okay. Well. I'm gonna kick one of them. I'm gonna have to. Yeah. That leaves me with... I'm going to take the bear. Okay. There we are. If this breaks the target's defense, deal weapon damage again. Gain two winded. I think I will hit... Oh, wait. Nope. I won't be able to do it because of trauma. Cost two. Maybe if I have the wolf use trauma first. There we go. Discard a card. Gain three. Oh, what if I do... I won't be able to do it. No. I don't want to use momentum because there's no point. Well, that's a shame. Yeah, we're going to get smacked around. All right, let's use Pulverize. Anything else I can do? I could apply Bleed. Well, let's do this again. Okay, there we go. Great. I can do this to him. Move him back there. Fantastic. And now I have one left, and I'm going to gain some shield. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Now the back row gets to go. But that's okay, because he's only going to hit my shield for five. I want to hit him. And then I want to use you. Every time this card is played, six damage, six damage. That would kill him. Eight damage would hit both of them. But I can't... Eh, let's use Oath Keeper. I want to get that into rotation. There we go. Do I want to use this? It is more damage. It is just straight up more damage. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah. So I could just do this. I could just do this. He's gonna hit me for six. Let's try this one. There we go. And then we'll take this one. And then this one. Great. And then you can hit him for this. Fantastic. All right. Oh, uh, let's see here. I could... Probably, yeah, I can just end him here. There we go. That vulnerable really helps. All right, Ruination. Deal six damage for each rune card in hand. We don't have anything like that. Draw one card, gain three preparation. Mirror an opponent's defense stacks. Well, I know for a fact we'll run into enemies who can stack defense. So maybe I want to do that. That's a good defensive tool. You dispatch the militia guards with ease. However, one mouse is left begging at your feet for its life. 
An old soul wanders at the edge of the street, their bodies stooped and draped in long robes. Party takes five damage. This is definitely a... <laughs> this is definitely a I have no other choice. I have to take this card. Card. Oof. Uh, let's do the sage. You approach the ancient figure who looks older than the knotted wooden walking stick he leans on. Some florins for a wise fellow, he croaks in a slow, faint voice. I mean, I'm glad I took all those florins at the beginning now for this. Reroll a talent, remove a card, gain a skill. I mean, I want a skill. Absolutely. Each character... Oh, wait, I'm reading wrong direction. Instinct. Draw this character's next talent card from the draw pile. That wouldn't be bad. Deep breaths. Discard all ruin cards. I don't have to worry about that. But that is a good card to know. I didn't know this card existed. Each character in your rank gains 8 shield. Another good one. Somebody could use this to give both of us 8 shields. This costs 1. I'm going to take the shielding. Sure. If that instinct card had cost 0, I would have taken that. But... A weathered sanctuary stands at the side of the street. Many sick and wisp whimpering people crouch in the doorway. A chance to heal, which we don't need. High spirits. A welcome boost to morale. Take a pause to reflect on what you've accomplished. Sure. Ooh, look at this. You find a letter from your superiors detailing important information concerning the enemy. Ah, uh, sure. Yes, thank you. That puts me at 800 out of... Oh, I'm still... I'm still so far away. I should get in more fights if I want to level up. I should. A lean pair of messenger hares catch their breath by a small brewing stand. I can buy cards. I can offload some cards. Or I can get into combat. Let's, uh... How much money do I have left? 400? Let's buy some cards. Okay. Okay. Taunt. Select a target. If the position in front of them is vacant, move them into it. Oh, that'll be good to get the archers up to the front row. Swap positions with the target party member. Not so great. Kick. Yeah, we don't really need it right now, although it should be helpful in the future. Deadly Harvest. Deal damage equal to stacks of crippled on opponent. I'm not able to cripple right now. I'm going to take taunt and kick. All right. Well, I can either take one of these two, which just is like a clear. You find yourself faced with a hard situation. If you can set up a distraction, you may be able to work around it. Select a card. Move it to this lane, plus one to its counter. Sure. Why not? I mean, there's only one I can choose. Crossroad. That's alright. You hear the clang- oh, provisions. Yeah, alright. And I spent all my florins. Ooh, okay. Oh, right. Well, there's nothing I can do here, so forget it. I shouldn't have bought both of those cards. That was such a waste. All right, and here's the boss. The safe house for you and your fellow loyalists. Slip through here into the next street. It's a trap! Your awaiting brothers slain, a few elite enders triumphantly brandish their weapons in the dim light. All of the exits are covered. There's only one way out. Through them. Yeah, I wish I hadn't spent all that money on a kick. I could have bought something from the provisions, but it is what it is. Let's see here. Who's hitting me here? We're going wolf. We're going wolf. We're going bear. Okay. I think... I think the smartest thing to do is probably kick him out. There we go. 
No, you know what? It would, it would have been smarter to kick the bear in the center because then I could armor up against the two weasels who are going to attack the wolf. Now, both of my characters are being attacked here. And this is just pointless. And he's going to hit me for 10, and there's nothing I can do to stop him. He's going to hit me for 12, but at least I have enough armor to absorb that. Alright. That was just a dumb decision on my part. Yeah. And, unfortunately, I didn't get any of my draws, so that's kind of annoying as well. At turn end, this character gains charge equal to stacks of fury. Alright, so we gotta find a way to mitigate him. Wolf. Alright. He's gonna hit me for 10. I really don't want to discard. I, I want that charge, but I don't really have a choice in the matter. If I discard this card, I don't get to use the charge. That charge would really be helpful, though. Alright, who am I going to smack with this? The bleeder or the guy in front? I think the guy in front needs to be worn down a little, too. What I need to do is mitigate the amount of damage coming out from all of them. So focusing one down is probably the smarter idea. Yeah, it's probably the best idea I have. To... Alright, there we go. That's a shame. Deal weapon damage if this breaks the target's defense. All their defense is well, not the bear, unfortunately. Well, what can I do? It'll only do eight damage. I don't I don't want to use that, no. Nope. <clears throat> what about marking somebody? I guess I could mark the bear and attack him. Draw one card and gain one. I guess I could kick this guy. There we go. Now it's just the bear. And we'll use armor. There we go. Okay. Apply marked. I'm going to apply it. Sure. Oh, there we go. Mirror and opponent's stacks. He's got 35, so we're going to pick up... Yeah, we're just going to pick up those 35. There we go. Now you've got a problem. I think you need... I don't know if he can do this to himself. It says apply to a party member. Yeah, I don't know if I can... Oh, I can. Fantastic. Good. Alright, deal 6 damage of active characters in front rank, plus 4. Draw 1 card. Each character in your rank gains 8. Take cover. I'm probably going to have him use the longsword. There we go. And then...
I'm going to use this on the bear. Okay, and I'm going to use this. Deal 8 damage and apply 2 vulnerability. I'm going to use it on him. this one. I need to kill him. I need to kill him. Okay. So I can gain 10, and then I have one more. Sure. Okay. Apply 5 to an ally. I don't want to do that. It does banish. Uh, but... Does it disappear if it goes into the discard pile? Or just if I play it? Because I could use plus 5 to an ally that doesn't cost anything. For future use. Yeah, my bear... My bear's protected for a little while with that extra defense he got from this... this one. Six damage. You know what? Let's do it. Just finish him off. There we go. We applied four vulnerable to the other two members of the opposition. I was going to say the opponent, but um, opposition works too, I think. I think. I think. What are you going to do? What is this? What are you doing? Retaliate. Whenever this character receives damage from an attack, they deal damage equal to its stacks of retaliate back. Attackers using ranged weapons are not affected. Removed at the start of their next turn. Charge and footwork. Oh, footwork. Move swaps to an adjacent position. Gains three charge. So that's what he's going to do. Well, I'm going to have to do something about that then. Every time this character receives more than 15 damage, they gain three charge and five defense. Oof. Rough. Mirror and opponent stacks. We can hold off on that one. Actually, I could use it now. Yeah, let's draw a card. Oh, now I don't want to mirror his stacks because I have more. Wolf could use it, though. But Wolf is kind of stuck in the back now. I'll gain five. All right, and then you know what? I'll just hit him for hit him for five. I want to get rid of his allies if possible. Next chance I get, I'm getting rid of this card. But I think I think I'm done. Uh, I'm going to have to start hitting him soon, or else he's going to become impossible to deal with. He's already doing a base of 8 damage, but then he, you add the 12 to each of them. Oh, no. Oh, 12 damage four times? Well, no, it's 14 damage four times. He's going to destroy me. Do I have any way of breaking through that armor? I don't. I'm just going to have to hit him as best I can. As best I can. Is there... That'll be two. Move, swap them. Who's hitting... Okay, he's attacking... He's attacking the bear, and he'll take it, and it won't be a problem. I'm... I'm just gonna hit him. Yeah, that vulnerability's gonna tick down eventually, and I need to, uh... Yeah. It's gonna tick down eventually, and I need to get the most out of that vulnerable, uh, vulnerability that I can. Okay. No, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. They forced the bear to move. 
Ugh. All right. Am I able to... Oh, I can kick him. Let's, um... Let's mess with him first. So we'll do this for the wolf. And then... Maybe not that one. Six damage, plus four. Kick him. I'm going to apply trauma. And then kick him. And then attack. Okay. What can we get out of this? Spawns take cover. Yeah, let's just keep... Let's just keep upping my shields. Because if the bear is going to hit me, I want as many hit points as possible. Uh, apply five to an ally. Well, he's going to need it next turn. I have two left. Sure. Eight damage. That'll kill him. Perfect. All right. Beautiful. What are you doing? You're gonna hit my bear. I think... I think he'll be okay. I, uh, he's got a lot of hit points. Well, I mean, relatively. He's, he's almost full of hit points. I don't know. Four times... 14 is not... Ah, that scares me. That... Deal damage... If it breaks his defense, it's not going to break his defense. But I can help, have him help. Actually, let's cancel that. Discard a card. Let's uh, discard, take cover. Okay. So you get this one. Or let's hit it for this. Okay. And then hit him for this. Okay. Alright, and you'll break his defense. Great. Beautiful. Love it. Okay. He has no will. Right. Alright. Okay. Please live. Please live. Oh, he halved my hit points. Ha, yeah. Okay, we're going to need uh, some healing after this fight, I think. Uh, draw one card and gain one. Actually, ooh, he's in a rough shape there. You can still hit him. Mirror an opponent's stacks is no longer useful. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll just have the wolf use this. Oh, good. We'll get rid of this one. Fantastic. And we'll use this. Okay. And then we'll gain some much needed armor. And he's gonna hit my bear. Yeah, but my bear couldn't really do anything, anyways, so. I think it's important to note, if I lose somebody in this fight, they're gone. There's no auto-res mechanic. There's no buying them back from the dead. They're gone. And I'd have to get somebody to replace them. Or continue on with one character. At least from what I remember from uh, Early Access. That might have changed. 20 armor. If this breaks targets, it's not going to. Alright, let's hit him with this. Let's hit him with this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to skip on the eye. Really didn't want to, but this will also break. Oh, no, no, no! If this breaks the target's shield, gain two charge, but I can't do anything with the charge. Yeah, that's that's a shame. 
Does he have any retaliate left? I'm not seeing it on there, but... That doesn't mean he doesn't have it. No, he doesn't have any retaliate. Okay. Well, that was a bad use of that sh uh, charge, but... Okay, they're both still alive, and he's almost dead. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Let's apply some more... I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this. Yeah, cause, so I can use this. Right. Okay. Um... Draw one card and gain... I'll use that on him. I could kick... I'm going to have you use Mark, and then I can hit him. It's not going to be enough, though, and he's going to hit me for... T oh, he's going to hit my bear for 12. Well, I suppose I could kick him. It's only going to delay the inevitable, though. That's not enough. That's not enough. Let's just do this. Yeah. It's not going to be enough if I kick him. Yeah, I'll kick him. Sure. To buy myself a turn here. Uh, I could kick again. I have a whole bunch of defense. That's not enough. Let's use this. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, gain a card. Mirror an opponent's stacks. You saw how well that worked, but I only need it once. Blood Sacrifice. All party members gain bleed. Apply double your party's total bleed to a target or wildfire. Deal four damage to opponent party. Well, I'll take that one, but I'm not thrilled about it. Uh, I, I can build up to being able to use it successfully. but Loot. Superior light armor, that'll be good for him, and heavy armor. Okay. Did I did I take it? Okay. Okay. Well, what are we gonna pick for the next run? A thousand florins. Level up a character. Oh, they're so close now. They just need 50 more XP. Or heal party to a hundred. I mean, I need to take that. They didn't recover their hit points at the end of that fight. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's check the party. Equipped what I've got. And then we will end this episode. Uh, how do I... How do I equip from my stash, though? That's... That's what I need to know. Oh, do I just drag? Oh, I just have to drag it. Gain one stamina every turn. I I thought I had it. Oh. Ah, okay. Can I just replace it down there? I can. Good to know! All right. For future reference, medium armor. Start each combat with 14. Start each combat with 30, gain 5, and 1 winded every turn. I don't think I want to do that. I have a way to remove winded, but it's only one card. I'm just going to hold off on that for now, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to hold off on that for now. Okay, back to... How do I leave here? Oh, back to this. All right. I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. Until next time, stay safe and God bless you.